This is a very, very good genetics question, so let's go ahead and try it. So this question says, a 27-year-old woman comes to the physician because of concerns that she is a carrier of an immunodeficiency syndrome. Her maternal uncle and a male cousin died early in life from complications of an immunodeficiency syndrome. They're not saying of the immunodeficiency syndrome, of an immunodeficiency, immunodeficiency syndrome. So let's not jump to the conclusion that it's the same disease, okay? But that could be a possibility. And since she's talked about a maternal uncle and a cousin, I'm thinking this is an X-linked disease, or it could be an X-linked disease. She would like to know if she's a carrier of the abnormal gene, okay? The gene causing the syndrome is absolutely linked to HIND3 polymorphism. Polymorphism meaning there can be more than one form, right? Two alleles could be different. On the X chromosome, which can be detected genomic DNA using a radioactive probe. A family pedigree is shown along with a southern blot analysis of DNA from several family members. Okay, so this is the pedigree, and that is obviously the result of the southern blot. Now the question is right here. The question says that based on these data, which of the following is the probability that 3-2 is a carrier? Meaning 3-2 is a carrier. So we have to find out if this this is our patient if she is a carrier of the disease and there is an arrow. So just because there is no, you know, it's not dark or anything, just don't, you know, jump to the conclusion that she might not be a carrier of the disease. This is just, you know, this is like a question mark here. Find out if she's a carrier or not. And then we have to find the probability of her being a carrier. Is it 100%, 50%, 33%, 25%, or 0%? Okay, so... First of all, they already told us that this is an X-linked disease with HIN3 polymorphism or HIN3 polymorphism, whichever way you want to say it. So let's ignore the southern blot for a second, okay? We're going to go at, this is the first generation. We have the father and the mother, and they made three offspring, one son and two daughters. And we can see that the son had, was the had the disease, okay, and the son has how many chromosomes? X and Y, right? So the X chromosome in this son had the disease. So the X must have had come from the, the mother or 1, 2. So the 1, 2 must have been the carrier. So I'm going to draw this here again. So we have the father here. Actually, let's go to the next page. Okay, so we have the father here, the first generation, and the mother, okay? And the, and the father has XY, and the mother has, let's say, X and the diseased X, okay? The diseased X is blue. And they together, they made three offsprings, okay? And one was one son and two daughters, okay? And that means this son was um, this son was the this son died from it. So this son died. So this son must have had the Y chromosome from the father and the diseased X chromosome from the mother. Okay, this must have been the the genetic the pedigree for this particular son. But what about the daughters? The daughters of having this disease X was 50%. So the, the chance of this daughter having the disease as X was 50%. The chance of ha this daughter having this, the diseased X was also 50%. Okay. Now, this daughter, again, made another, had another son with another man here. And this son ended up being dead from the disease that means this the, the mother must have been uh, the carrier of the diseased x so this mother uh, the pedigree of this mother must have been x x 
right? And this, the father was X, Y. So the son must have been, the Y must have been from the father, obviously, and got the diseased X from the mother. So that's why this patient died. But now what about this patient who had 50% chance of being a carrier? What this patient, this lady did, she made it with a guy and they had three children, okay? One was a daughter and this is our patient of interest and two sons, okay? So what is the probability that this lady that we have right here is going to be a carrier of this X chromosome. The chance of her being a carrier is even half of this. So if, if the chance of 2, 5 having the defective X chromosome is, is 50%, then the chance of our patient having the disease X is even less. It's going to be 25%. It's going to be half of what we have, right? So this is one interpretation, but we don't stop there. There is also a southern blot of the polymorphism. And on the southern blot, we have 2, 4. So 2, 4 is 2, 4. We have the, we, we know what polymorphism the lady had. The polymorphism, there is only one band right here. And then 2, 5, 2, 5. Uh, sorry, it was the father who had one band, a lower band, and the mother had both bands, okay? So we don't know which band is actually diseased or which band is normal. Well, I mean, the chance are the top one could have been um, the diseased one because the father is normal and the father has a lower band, so the father must have been normal. Uh, the fa father is normal, so the lower band is normal, but the chance of the higher band, the top band being abnormal is quite high. Now let's look at the southern blot of the children. Now 3, 2 has both the bands. We cannot determine if she's if she is a carrier from looking at this band because we already know her. The chance of her being a carrier is going to be 25%. Now look, let's look at 3, 3, the first son. We see that the first son has a lower band, just like the father. But we already know that the father is not diseased. So the lower band is not diseased. So this patient is obviously doesn't have the disease. But look at this one. Look at 3, 4, the top band. And this is a boy. And this boy is normal. That means the top band also gives a normal uh, phenotype. That means both the top band and the bot bottom band gives us a genotype or a karyotype which is normal and the mother uh, sorry and the and the patient that is coming into our clinic today which is 3 2 has both the bands and both the bands turns out to be normal so the chance of her being a carrier is 0% okay if the southern blot was not given the chance of her being a carrier would have been 25% because we still have that thing or oh, we don't know if, you know, what's the chance of her getting the, the defective allele, we'd have to go with probability. But we have more information on the pedigree. We have a southern blot. So we now know for sure that the chance of 3-2 being the carrier is going to be 0%.